Do I fit the description? Oh my god, what the hell? This can't be. No, I don't want to kill her. You know what? It was probably her this whole time. So, you know what? This is two for two. Get out of my house. Hello, everyone, and welcome to No, I'm Not Human, I'm a Blank. Now, this game is brand new. I just found it on Steam not too long ago. And according to the Steam page, this game says it's about an intimate story about a disaster and guests from underground. People are breaking into your home, but not all of them are true people. All right, so with that said, I'm going to go ahead and click start and let's just jump right in. Here we go. Oh, wow. So it kind of, okay. So it starts just like this. You're in, inside of this house here. And we're gonna, I guess we have to let some guests in. And like it said, not all of them are human. So I'm guessing we're gonna have to figure out which ones are which. But here we go. Let's open the door. All right. So we got this guy right here at the door. He says, people from the cities have already started coming to the neighbors. People have changed a lot. If they come in your place, you let them in. Just be careful, okay? I've heard of people being killed by other people. Now I hear these stories more and more often. An acquaintance said that creatures that look like humans are coming. In a few days, they will tell me what signs can be used to distinguish them from humans. You can't stay alone. Something very evil will come, and who knows what's next. Okay, uh, what's going on out there? It's safe to look out the windows at night, and I even recommend it. That way, you at least realize that what surrounds your house. It's hard to look out during the day. It gets very hot. The light hurts my eyes. Um, so wait, what do we do now? Let's summarize. There's gonna be people coming in at night. You decide who to let in and who not. It's hard to decide visually. We'll be told later by the authorities what to do. Look in the windows. You don't know what's going on. And keep your head down. It's dangerous everywhere now. I'll sleep in your cabinet tonight. A cabinet? What the fuck? And tomorrow you can do it yourself. Come and see me in the afternoon and we'll talk. Okay, I guess I just invited him in. It seems no one else will come tonight. Okay, interesting. So I guess we're running some sort of, like, I don't know, shelter? Maybe we're trying to help people escape from the other non-human looking humans? But, uh, I guess let's go to the bedroom and see if he's- is he in here? No, we can go to sleep though, so, um, you know, let's- let's go ahead and take some rest. Oh, good morning, dear viewers. This must be the news telling us what to do. It's the morning weather forecast. The sun keeps shining and the summer heat persists in our town. The duration of this heat has already broken a Guinness record and it seems that the good weather isn't going anywhere. Scientists are closely monitoring solar activity and predict its intensification, but they assure us there's no need to worry. So grab your sunglasses, take your best swimsuits and don't forget your hats. And most importantly, make sure you don't get sunstroke. Lately, there's been more weird behavior in the town, and experts think it's because of too much sun. Okay, I don't think that's the cause. Um, so it seems like we have three energy up here. And when I hover over the TV, it looks like we can use an energy if we want to. Um, wow, my house turned red all of a sudden. Let's look in the living room. Ooh, what do we got in here? What is that? We got a cross, though. Yeah, there's nobody in here. Where'd that guy go? Oh, he's in here. Oh my god, he's, he's kind of scared me. Can I talk to him? Oh, did you see the newscast? It's a nightmare. Okay, in this heat, every dialogue is going to waste your energy. I got you, I got you. So think hard about who you want to talk to. And one more thing, checking people for signs of guests should be in the dialogue too. Okay, I don't understand that. So be careful how you spend your energies. If you decide you've talked to everyone and you don't want to sleep, have a beer. Go to the kitchen, have a cold one from the fridge. It'll use up all your energy and you'll want to sleep right away. Uh, so I'm just supposed to sit around and survive? Let me preface this with a word just in case. During the day, you can talk to your house guests about all sorts of things. In dialogue with them, you can check for signs of fake people. Next, you can decide what to do with those who are not human in your opinion. If you don't want to communicate with anyone else but still have the strength, drink beer in the kitchen. There's one in the fridge I brought to chill. It'll make you sleepy. Okay. And wait for help. If they call an evacuation, stay close to my family. Now have a beer and get some rest. You look tired. By the way, I've heard that at night someone walks around asking if you're home alone. If you open the door, don't say that you're alone. Oh god, okay. Well, that's a bit creepy, and you're a bit creepy too, but I appreciate the advice nonetheless. I guess we should check out the kitchen? Here it is. Ah, okay, so we can have a beer. I forgot. I think that means it drains all your energy. I wasn't quite paying attention. Uh, oh, we got a pantry too. Interesting. Well, I think we should just answer the door. Is somebody here? No, we don't have anyone at the door yet. He did say, I guess we do need to drink a beer, is what he said. 
So let's go ahead and take one out. A fresh cold one. Oh, I'm feeling drowsy from the beer. The best... Okay, I think he told me to sleep. So, uh... Okay, I guess we're going to sleep again. Well, what if I watch the TV? I can't. Okay, it's not letting me. Let's go to sleep then. Whatever. I should have checked the... Oh, it's nighttime. Okay, so maybe they only come out at night? Wait, is somebody in here? No, okay. Yeah, maybe we should check the windows. He did say to do that. Oh, there's someone out there. You see several teenagers spending time in a field outside the window. They are sitting around chatting excitedly, not paying attention to you. Uh, okay. As long as they don't mess with me, I guess. Is there somebody at the door this time? Let's see. There is. Here we go. Oh, God. Okay, hello. It's a little girl. Is my dad here? Can you call him? It wasn't scary during the day, but now it is. A lot of people went out at night. Uh, what's your father's name? Did you forget his name? Oh, you're checking to see if I'm a visitor. Okay, so visitors are what they call the human-like monsters, I'm supposing. Oh my god, she could be one. You're smart. I'll start checking people now, too. Uh, are you afraid of visitors? Uh, I don't know. Everyone is scared of them. I'm scared of them, too. I haven't seen one of them. Are they scary? Do they hurt? If my friend from school hit me hard, is he a visitor, too? Daddy said to be careful. I'm very careful. I came here very quietly. No one saw me. Have a good time. Thanks. Good luck to you, too. We go now. I'm scared to be outside alone at night. We're going to play a game. He made me some kind of game where you have to roll dice and then walk on objects. I mean, like a chair or a couch. And then you have to build a road. Anyway, I'll show you later. Oh, that's his dad. Or that's her dad. Okay, goodbye. Oh, there's someone else at the door? Okay, shoot. Let me turn around. Hello? Oh my god, what the- Okay, I was hiding in the pub, but I was kicked out. Why? Hmm, not everyone can handle my temper. But I don't mean to offend anyone, don't get me wrong. It's just sometimes it gets sickening. You know how it is. What do you think? Will you let me in? Uh, you're not a visitor, aren't you? You think I'm one of those monsters? No, I'm not no visitor, but asking everyone to their face about it is just crazy. Anyway, it will be like that from now on. Uh, shoot, why did they kick you out of your last shelter? Oh, he's not answering that. I was thinking to tell you something offensive, but I changed my mind. What the f- I told you, people just felt uncomfortable with me. There were all sorts of weirdos. When I think about it, maybe it was for the best that they kicked me out. Those would have eaten me alive and not even noticed. Okay, come in, I guess. Thanks. Trusted people nowadays is worth no more than a coin. That's why I appreciate your trust. Maybe. All right, I can't promise anything. Okay, now I'm a little worried who I just let in my house right now. Oh, someone else answered. Okay, uh, I kind of want to check out the TV really quick. I don't know where my energy went. Maybe you can only check during the day. It seems like all you can do during the night is uh, answer the door. So let's go ahead and answer the door once again. Who's out here? Oh my gosh. Hello? You look creepy. Is there any corner for me? Uh, how did you get here? I didn't really intend to come. Yeah, the asphalt is already melting under my feet, but it's not that bad here yet. It will make you laugh. I've got visitors in my house. Huh, can you imagine? They kicked me out of my own house. Now I'm wandering around, looking for someone to hide from the sun. Somewhere to hide from the sun. So, what do you think will happen in the future? I don't know. Will I survive? Who will help me? How long will I have to search for help? I don't know what will happen next. I can't even guess. Aren't you scared by this? I am. Very much so. Uh, God, I mean, I can't really tell, so just come on in. Thank you. Oh, thank you, really. Oh, God. I'll live one more day. Sheesh. Okay, it seems no one else will come tonight. I don't really know how I'm supposed to tell if they're a visitor, but uh, I guess let's, let's hit the sack once again. Uh, yeah, that's all we can do. Let's go to bed. I hope I don't wake up and get killed. Alright, we got another newscast. We interrupt our morning show for an urgent message. Today at 6.28 a.m., there was a powerful solar energy eruption. This flare was larger than scientists predicted. The air temperature has reached a critical level. Authorities have declared a state of emergency. We urge all citizens to avoid going outside during daylight hours. Now, on to the news. Aliens? People emerging from underground? No, this isn't a sci-fi story or a tabloid headline. Eyewitnesses report contact with the visitors around the city. 
One witness encountered a middle-aged man who had perfectly white teeth. Oh, wow. Pay attention to their teeth. Okay, it turns out he was one of those these visitors. Oh my god. So if they have perfectly white teeth, I do not need to let them in. Similar incidents with visitors sporting perfect teeth have been observed. So if you want to identify them, check their teeth. Please stay alert and calm. Now, let's move on to the other news. Okay, shit, that's important to pay attention to. So they did use an energy up there, I see that. But what's the point of doing that, I wonder? I don't know, let's look in the living room. Oh, there's him. He's just he's just chilling in there. Yeah, did you want something? Um, let's see. I need to check on you. Let's see if he can check his teeth. What do you want to check? Uh, show your teeth. <laughs> it says teeth, but I'm gonna just say teeth. Do you want to see my teeth? Well, look at them. They still have the taste of unhappiness and smoke on them. Oh, that's... I don't think that's perfectly white, no. So, yellowish, huh? Well, don't fuck with me with your tests. I'm not a visitor. Okay, bro, I, I gotta check. Uh, let's ask him something else. How do you recognize a visitor? I know no more than you. Visitors can be identified by perfectly white teeth. This is fucking bullshit. They just want us to kill each other. And it's not clear why. Okay, he might be onto something, but I don't think so. Who's in the cabinet? Do we have someone in here? Nobody. Well, where'd, the, where'd the little girl go? Maybe she's in the kitchen? No, she's not. Her hungry ass probably in the pantry. Yeah, she is. Oh my god, what's she doing down there? Uh, uh, hopefully this will all be over soon. I need to check on you. Uh, let's check teeth. Huh? Are you going to make decisions based on teeth? Uh-oh. I've had my teeth fixed recently. Although, to be honest, I can't remember when I've been to the dentist. Have I even been to one? God, I can't even remember what I ate yesterday because of fear. Oh, that's... Ah, that's... That's perfectly white. Does that... Do I fit the description? Oh my god, what the hell? This can't be! No, I don't want to kill her! I can't be a visitor, yes? Oh no, oh no, what do I do? What do I do? Uh, she has perfectly white teeth, so, uh, let's hear out, let's hear out. No, it's just a coincidence, right? How can I be a visitor? It can't be. It can't be, can it? I remember, I remember my life. Nothing in it. Nothing like that. Oh, wait. Okay, I guess I can't go back and shoot her now, but thank you. Wow, I might have made a, the wrong decision there. I don't know. Wait, well, there's a bathroom. I haven't opened this yet, but there's nothing we can do in there either. Can we answer the door, though? No. Okay, we're out of energy. It looks like I need to go to sleep now. I really hope I don't wake up and get killed. I really hope. Uh, yeah. Let's take a nap then. Oh god, I'm scared. Okay, someone's knocking. Okay, she seems... We gotta check on them. Actually, we can't. We can't. We gotta just open the door. That's all we can do. Alright, who's there? Oh, shoot. It's a girl. Okay. Let me tell you right away. I'm not afraid of the heat, but I'm still looking for a quiet place. Can I find peace at your place? Um, who are you? It doesn't matter anymore. You're asking if I'm a visitor, aren't you? No, I'm not a visitor. But there is something I would ask of you. Later. I'm not sure yet. Uh, okay. Take off your jacket. No. It's okay if you don't let me in. I'll just keep moving. I'm not gonna beg or bother you. Ah, uh, just come in. Just come in. Thank you. The ceiling is a little low here, but it'll be fine. Oh, shit. Okay. I hope I'm making the right decisions here. But, uh, oh, yeah. Forgot. Answer it one more time. Oh, my God. You look disgusting, man. Okay. How fortunate we are. We've witnessed firsthand the consequences of human passions. The earth will be cleansed. The sun will do its work. And we will go to a new clean world. That's the fucking good news. You're scaring me. Are you out of your mind? Listen to me. I'll give you a brief rundown. The sun burns and burns for us. For a reason. It bakes sins out of us. We've all done all sorts of things and now the sun is angry. Gives his hit to us. And that's a good thing. All our sins will be over. We'll live our lives properly. You mean we all have to die? Nah. Sins will fade away. The sun may die, but we will live. There will be no more deaths, no more stealing, no more greedy bastards who can't sell me what I want for a fair price. Can you imagine such a thing? Do you realize what this is all about? I mean, come in, I guess. I can tell you a lot more about all this. Do you have any beer? I forgot to ask. Oh, no, don't drink all my beer, man. All right, let's just answer this once more. Too bad we are the witnesses. Maybe we are participants, too. 
Do you need anything? No, thanks. Everything I need is already there. And what I don't have, you can't help me with. Will you read my fortune, choose where I should open the book, and read a line? You're weird. It's even safer that way, for me mostly, but still. It's easier to preserve something from floods, fires, and time. Not every seed becomes a tree, eh? Will you read my fortune? Uh, open near the middle or open at the beginning? Let's, let's open at the beginning. The dead will come and tell and he will not be believed. What does that mean? I need to think now. Maybe I'll see you later. Uh, I hope I don't see you later, weird motherfucker, but it seems no one else will come, so I guess let's head to bed once again. Uh, I'm a little worried about what I'm about to wake up to, but good night. Oh, you smell de decay and death. Someone was killed tonight. Oh, I messed up. I messed up. Anyway, good morning, dear viewers. This is the morning news. Solar activity remains abnormal, and ex experts predict that it will continue to intensify. There are count they are continuing reports from eyewitnesses about encounters with visitors. In response to the situation, authorities urgently ramped up FEMA operations. FEMA is an acronym for the Federal Emergency Management Agency. FEMA staff members wear yellow hazmat suits, and the FEMA Special Committee started functioning recently, but they have discovered a new indicator of visitors. Okay, okay. The FEMA Special Committee experts believe that besides teeth, visitors can be identified by dirt under their nails. Okay. Oh, like inside the nail. Okay, as reported by FEMA, this was discovered during an inspection of one of the houses. Employees encountered a woman who had worked as a nurse. For some unknown reason, she had dirt under her nails. Given that visitors emerged from the ground, the woman has taken for testing, her dangerous status was confirmed. If you notice anyone resembling a visitor, promptly contact FEMA members. Okay, okay, okay. Please stay alert and calm and avoid leaving your home. Got you. All right, so I'm not going to watch TV this time. Um, let's just talk to some people. Let's see who's in here. Someone's dead, though. We got to find who that is. This is the woman, though. Okay, I wish there was some warmth. Uh, I need to check on you. What do you want to check? Let's check the teeth. Mmm, teeth? If it helps in any way, sure, look. That, mm, that's white. That's white. That's white. What do we do now? Oh, I got I got it now. Shoot her, just shoot her. We, we gotta kill somebody. It's probably you. Are you gonna shoot, though? Boom! Oh, oh, wow. That's fucked up. I just killed him. I just killed her right next to that guy. And he doesn't even care. Yeah, did you want something? Uh, how many victims are there? Thousands? Hundreds of thousands? Millions? Honestly, I have absolutely no idea. And no one will tell you, so you don't piss your pants in fear. No matter what number you came up, come up with, triple it. That's probably closer to the actual number of victims. Okay, let's check his nails really quick. What do you want to check? Uh, hands. Where'd they even come from? Dirt under the fingernails. Is that supposed to be a sign? They can just wash their hands. That's all it takes. So what? Every gardener is a visitor now? That's ridiculous. Look at the nails. Uh, he's good. He's good. He He's good. Am I a visitor? Of course not. All right. Well... What was... Oh my god. Did I not get the visitor? I'm scared. Hello? Who's in my house right now? Oh my god, she's in here. Was it the girl? Wait, no. Oh, uh, hopefully this will be over soon. I don't think it was her. Let's check her hands, though. Show your fingernails? An interesting sign, for sure. Yeah, let's see. Uh, is that dirt? Is that dirt? What's on them? It can't be- it can't be the ground. I don't even remember digging in the dirt. Oh, you know what? It was probably her this whole time. But I bet that other girl was one too, so you know what? This is two for two. Get out of my house! What a shame. Yep. Dead. Oh, I don't know if I'm making the right decisions, y'all. I'm sorry, but I'm trying. Oh, yeah, this guy. Is he the one that died? I think he's dead. I can't talk to him. Uh, I really don't know. I think it did say somebody was killed. Maybe they were both visitors? I don't know. I, I, I'm so... I'm a little confused, but, uh, you know, can we watch TV? In difficult times, when the hour of despair is near, and trust is hard to come by, there are those who you can rely on. The FEMA 
Okay, you can try. Okay, well, that was a kind of a waste, but good night, I guess. We killed two people this night. Okay, let's see what's going on. Um, I guess we need to let more people in. But you can't check their teeth or their hands at the door. You kind of just have to let them in. What the fuck? Look at this guy. Who are you? How's it going here? Oh, look at his teeth. Is that perfectly white? I don't know. Is everything okay? Why are you ignoring my question? Listen, AAA, are you alone in the house? Oh, we can't say we're alone. Just curious, you're just reading someone's fortune. Promising salvation to some, driving some away. Oh, I can't say I'm alone. I have other people taking shelter here. You're lucky tonight. Oh, he looks upset about that. I can hear someone whispering in your rooms. But who knows what will happen tomorrow? Someone whispering. Oh, God. Is the is he still in my house? Okay, let's, let's open up again. Oh, hello. Can I... Is he holding a dead body? What the fuck is that? Can I rest at your place? Uh, where are you heading next? I... I just want to fall down somewhere and never get up again. I don't care where I end up. Is your partner sick? That's my husband. He died. I can't bury him properly now. It's pointless to let him go now. Come in, man. I got you. I don't think I'll stay long. I just need a break. I mean, that's tough, man. That's tough. Open up again. Oh, hello. Among... Among us? Among us? Okay, anyway. You see what's going on? Fucking hell. How's it going down here? Uh, what's going on? New opportunities. Can't you fucking see? Everybody's whining, running around, fussing. But you can just do things from the heart, that's all. We should be happy, in short. Why did you come to me? You're already in business. You're gathering people. You're doing You're doing something here. You're making things happen. We'll turn this into a celebration of life. Come in, I guess. Now we're talking. Finally, someone with some sense, bitch. <laughs> okay, I let the Among Us person in. Uh, we still got one more person. Okay. Oh, wow. It looks like an old man. It's so quiet at night. Hi, can I come in? Uh, have you been watching the house? Oh, you know what? I have not been looking out the windows. I'm- I am really messing up here. Uh, let's ask him that. What? <laughs> no, of course not. It's rare for a house full of people to be so quiet at night. Someone forgets themselves in alcohol and yells. Someone screams in pain and burns. Someone just screams with unbearable sorrow. Uh, where'd you come from? There was a hospital in the center of town. Yes, there was, but it became overwhelmed with patients and we couldn't cope. The scariest part is that many visitors infiltrated in such conditions. The situation spiraled so out of control that the entire hospital was shut down. It's pure chaos in there now. Come on in, I guess. I hope I can help someone. So it seems like if I let too many people in, I don't have enough energy to talk to them all and check their hands. Is that, I think that's what I need to be careful for. Uh, nobody's here. Oh, wait, somebody knocked, though. Let me check the window. Hold on. Let's see if someone's out there. Oh, the bodies of teenagers burned to death on the ground. They seem to have been lying here all day. Two emergency workers are standing next to the bodies and writing something down. It's good that there are those who can remove the bodies. It's scary to imagine what kind of co contagion could appear if the rotting bodies are not removed from the streets. That's true. We need someone to clean that up. All right, we got a lot of people to talk to. So uh, let's hit the sack again and see if we can help them. Here we go. We got a lot more energy, but good morning, dear viewers. This is the morning news. The valiant FEMA staff members have organized quarantine zones. Anyone showing signs of visitors is directed there. Some people express concern that the identity of visitors remains unknown. However, FEMA assures that they are merely ill individuals in need of assistance. Additionally, FEMA has been identified a new indicator of visitors, intensely irritated blood red eyes. This information was discovered through experiments with detained guests. According to FEMA experts, the irritation is caused by exposure to bright sunlight. Please stay alert and calm and avoid leaving your home during daylight hours. Now, okay. So shit, and I gotta check three things. And each time I check, it's gonna use an energy. Okay, well, let's go with this guy again. He could be an undercover. Uh, I need to check on you once more. Let's check your eyes. Every day gets more surreal. What if I didn't sleep well, or if it cry or if I cried? I can't make sense of how this all works anymore. What do you do if one sign checks out, or several? Ooh, yeah, you look normal. That's not bloodshot, is it? 
Now I'm going to be a visitor tonight. I'll go and cry. I'll reminisce about the peaceful times. You know, th that guy's on to something, I can't lie. Well, where's everyone else at? They must be in the kitchen. W oh, this guy is. Hello. Hey, hey, what's up, bitch? Can you stop calling me that? Uh, I need to check on you. Let's check your teeth first. I can show you some teeth, bitch. My brother-in-law got his teeth done. He got smashed. Guess what? Lost all his fucking teeth. <laughs> okay, you're weird. Oh, I gotta show you. Uh-huh. Eh, that's not bright white, is it? I mean, I'll know if I pull out the shoddy. Oh, I did pull out the shoddy. I mean, what what do I do? Do I? I mean, I, I don't know. Okay, well let's let's check one more thing about her. Let, let's hear her out one more time. Or wait, I don't know. I don't know what to do. All right, just hear her out. Just hear her out. I get it, of course. All this stress with the visitors and stuff. But you're doing it all for us. Anyway, I hold no grudges. Won't tell you any bullshit. All right, check one more time. Let's check your let's check your hands. Come on, I'm fine. I don't do anything with nails. Look. Okay, that checks out. That checks out. No, you don't think so. I wash. I just didn't have time to rinse my hands today. Usually my nails are clean, bitch. Okay, uh, well, let's check your eyes, I guess. My eyes have been itchy these days. Do you think it's from the sun or what? Oh, you're definitely one. I should have done. I should have blew your head off already. Fuck. It's just some kind of disease. Get the fuck out of my house. Bitch, you suck my dick. Ah! Uh Okay, yeah, you're done, buddy. I should have blew your head off and saved my energy. All right, who's in here? Oh, the dead guy's gone, I guess. But we got the girl now, or or this guy, I don't know. I need to get some rest. Well, I need to check on you really quick. Let's check your teeth. What? Okay. Oh, nah! Can I have some quiet time in here? Oh, wait, maybe that wasn't... Okay. Well, shit. Let's... Wait, wait. Oh, wow. She, she really put her husband in the, the tub. I did not mean to talk to her, but let's, uh, let's check your hands, I guess. Hands. Wait a second. My hands are tired from carrying the one they refuse to save. Okay, you're, you look good, I think, right? Must I even be asked to do this fucking thing? If you want to shoot, just shoot. I don't have the strength anymore. No, I'm sorry. I'm just really exhausted. Okay, you're, I think you're good. I don't think I have to worry about you. But this guy, I don't know. Let's see. Hmm? So, I need to check on you really quick. What do you want to check? I mean, he kind of seems like his hands would be dirty, but yeah, let's just try hands again. Yes, I've operated on so many people with these hands. I could tell you so many stories, but maybe another time. Now, please look. Alright, you look fine. You look good. I try to keep these arms toned so I don't slack off. Who knows what tomorrow might bring. Well, I'm out of energy, guys, so if there is a visitor in here, uh, you know, we, we might be fucked. But... Here we go. Let's let's go to bed again. I mean, check the TV. We can't go to all right, go to bed. Just go to bed. Oh, uh, someone might die tonight. Nobody died. Or maybe it, it's going to happen tomorrow. I'm not sure. All I can do now is answer some more people. So, let's try. Hello? Oh my god, it's a hazmat. I'm from the FEMA crew. We're here to help you. <gasps> How can I trust you? You must have seen the news. We were there. I can also show you my ID. Uh, shit. How will you help us? First, we have to do some investigation. Based on the results, I will be able to take further action by notifying the management. You just need to wait a little, so what's next? I will take one man from you. I'll have him back soon. It's for examination. You may have been exposed to solar radiation. We'll measure it on one person. It can be anyone. Do I have to pack two? No, you are, as I understand it, the owner of this house. You stay here for now. We'll take the man away for a while, then decide what to do next. We'll issue instructions afterward. Oh, it is him. Maybe he's the one. Okay, I'm now taking the man with us. We're leaving. Goodbye. Okay, well, I'm glad he's gone. He was probably a problem anyway. But let's see who else we have. What a mess. Did you see that? What kind of society is this? The beasts around here are revealed. Finally, nobody's pretending. Uh, are you one of the beasts? We're all the same beast. If you deny it long enough, you'll be eaten alive. No bones left. Now, the new order is whoever is the strongest is right. Whoever says he's not one of this kind of people will be dead tomorrow. How many so... Wait, hold on. How many houses have you switched? I haven't been anywhere for a long time. But everywhere I see chaos, fear blinds people to so many things. You still have some order. That's interesting. I'd like to see you keep it. Come in, I guess. An intelligent decision. 
The force now rules your life and and you either accept it or get in trouble. Okay, you're an interesting person, but who's next? Oh my god, what the f- you, 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 you scary looking. Let me in. Uh, did something happen? <laughs> my my d daddy uh, <laughs> killed my d d dad. Uh, who did this? Drink some water. We had the visitors. They sat in our room. Daddy was to talking to them about something, and then they killed him. Uh, our house is now on for fire. Come on in, I guess. Can you help me? I'm scared. I can't just let a little girl stay out here. What kind of person would I be? Is that it? Nope. One more. Hello? Oh, God. Look at this guy. I'm not from around here. I don't like staying in one place too long. Can't roam around as much anymore. I'm getting too old for that. Uh, what are you looking for here? In town? I just want to rest. After this damn sun, the visitors started popping up more. Crawling everywhere. I'm telling you, we need to snuff them out. They're trying to pull something on us. Do you want to kill the visitors? Aren't you doing the same thing? Or do you just tell them to shoo? You're not stupid, right? You kick them out, but tomorrow they'll tear you apart and won't even remember your name. Get it? You gotta be careful with them. That's the thing. Come on in. I trust you more than anyone I've met so far. I knew you weren't a pushover. A real man. We'll mix it up with these visitors. They won't come near us by a mile. Okay, I trust you a little bit, kind of, sorta. But I still gotta check your teeth, so... Oh god, Big Bertha. Anybody home? Uh, looking for someone? I'm not looking for anyone. I just need a place to hide. The whole neighborhood has been kicked out and no one knows where to go. Now I'm running around in shock, looking for a place to live. Why did they kick you out? They said there was a big sunstroke or something on our house. Those in yellow suits kicked us out. Somebody was grabbed, taken for tests. Some were released. Come on in, I guess. Yeah, thanks. Don't open the door to those yellow ones, okay? They're gonna take us somewhere. Oh, should I not have been doing that? Seems no one else is coming tonight. Let's check the window real quick. We haven't been doing that. Oh! Shit! Is he holding somebody's head? A pale, creepy man stands in the road and smiles. He has someone's severed head in his hand wearing a helmet. It's a soldier's head with a grimace of horror frozen on his face. You are very uncomfortable with what you see. Yeah, shut that, please. Please don't come in my house either. Time to go to bed again. I wonder how many days we'll have to do this for. I'm, I'm, this is kind of going on for a little bit long. Oh, someone was killed tonight. We have a guest in our- Dang it, somebody's in here. It was probably somebody I just brought in. But we have another news. Good morning, dear viewers. This is the morning news. FEMA continues to identify new signs of visitors. According to their data, attempts to photograph visitors result in severe blurring in the photos. Oh, wow. This effect can only be observed with film cameras. Unfortunately, the reasons for this phenomenon have not been determined yet. However, FEMA urges citizens to use this new information to identify visitors. Please stay alert and calm and avoid leaving your home. Okay. Great. Now we have to do four things to every single person. And I just brought in how many people? Wait, what was that? Somebody's a visitor in here and I got to figure them out right now. Somebody's whispering. All right. Uh, we don't, I don't think it's, it's that person. I think they're fine. There was whispering in this room. It's somebody in here, isn't it? It's one of you. Let's talk to the, the, the little girl. Oh, the little girl was killed. I can't talk to her. Okay, God, it might, it's probably this guy. I thought I trusted him. Keep your eyes open. The visitor could be any one of us. Okay, I, I don't really... I want to talk to them to see what they say, but I have to check on them. What do you want to check? Well, it's photo, I guess. I don't really like taking pictures. The flash reminds me of a thunderstorm. It makes me panic. No, you, you didn't get it. I'm not taking pictures. Uh... I mean, why not? Why not? You don't want to prove your innocence. Then you're going to get... You're going to get shot. Sorry. Yeah. I mean, I'm, look, I don't want to hear him out. If you don't prove your innocence to me right away, then you're a visitor. Uh, it might be this guy too, though. Do you have a question for me? I need to check on you. Uh, let's go ahead and do photo again. I don't like having my picture taken. If those pictures don't end up in the trash, they'll have to take action. Do you understand that? You're taking a picture of the person you're talking to. You have the photo around to make it show up faster. Or you wave it. You notice that the picture seems fine, but it, it's being snatched out of your hand. 
Give it to me. I'll throw them out myself. Okay, so the picture was fine. But let's check his teeth as well. But watch it. If you attack me, I'll bite your neck with these teeth. Oh, he's got fucked up teeth. Wow, okay. Well, it's like gold grills. I take care of my teeth and those that are missing. Oh, wait, was it actually clean? Well, let these bastards clench them tighter in the grave. I don't think he's one of them. He had golden teeth. So, here out. Don't point that gun at me again. I know when and how much you sleep. Oh my god. And if I if I do, I'll eat you alive, kid. Don't make a mistake. Wow, okay. This game is hard. I, I can't lie. It's hard to figure out who's who. Oh, son. Please don't let anyone in. Uh, I need to check on you. Let's check your... Uh, photo, I guess. It's been a long time since I was last photographed. Go ahead. Why not? Okay... You purposely hold still and wait for the moment. When the photo shows up, you can see that it's blurry completely. Why can't you see me well? Nah, I don't know. Probably because you're a visitor. So get out. Try it. They'll smear you too. Oh, I didn't see what she said, but uh, gotcha. I don't know if the visitor's still here. Let's let's ask this guy. How, what do you think about FEMA? They are bloodthirsty hunters determined to hurt us like sheep. Don't be fooled by their appearance. They are wolves in sheep's clothing. At first, they just ask you questions, pretending to fill out their damn reports. But the moment they smell the right kind of meats, they'll bite with their sharp teeth. And people, like naive sheep, obediently follow them. Don't trust these vicious wolves. Fair enough, but I need to ask you to show me your eyes, sir. Are you looking for a stranger in me? Aren't you afraid to see your reflection in my eyes? Oh my god, he's got beautiful eyes, I can't lie, but he's cool. I'm impressed. Not everyone can stand my gaze. All right, I might as well ask him the last thing, which is your hands. Want to hear about my hands? Yeah, I've had to kill recently. They tried to kill me. It's I'm not just going to stand by and wait to be killed. Some people freeze in danger. Others run. I'm the type who fights back. Oh, these won. That's under the fingernail. So what now? You're going to shoot me? Really? I sure am. Goodbye, bitch. I'm taking you with me. <gasps> no, you're not. Wait, why is he turning into some bags? That's interesting. Uh, is the visitor still here? Do we still have another one? I really don't know. I, I still hear whispering. I don't know if that's an indicator. Or or what? I mean, let's check this person again. There's one. We didn't check a photograph, so let's try it. Don't you think this is a mockery? No one helped save my husband. But now, you want to mark his death? I'm at a loss for words. Do whatever you want and don't touch me. Okay, you don't see anything out of the ordinary. The dead man was in the frame. It makes you think. Now just go away. Uh, I think I'm also going to check your... Um, I didn't check your eyes, I don't think. What do you want to check? Redness in the eyes? Go ahead. Try. <gasps> oh, if I show emotion, does that make me a visitor? Can a person in this new world still cry? Apparently, laughing is already forbidden. Guys, there's no right answer, okay? This guy didn't have any other thing wrong with him but the eyes. He, they could just be depressed right now, but I have to shoot them because I ain't risking it. Is it really going to end this easily? No more pain? But I never... Oh, I feel so bad. I, I, I feel so bad. I, that could have been... I don't know. <laughs> the whispering stopped. Wait. No, it didn't. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm playing this so evilly, but, uh, I don't know. Hey, it's me or them at this point. It's me or them. And that, hey, I just helped them join. Wait, you've, you've done a lot for those you let in, but too much blood has been spilled. You are too dangerous to stay in this house. You must leave. You are being driven out of your own home by people fearing for their safety. You didn't live one day and burned by the scorching sun outside. Oh, I got the bad ending for killing so many people. I'm going to try that again. I might have some new people on the new run, probably. I think it might be random, but I'm going to try again and maybe I shouldn't kill everyone. Let's let's try again. I'll meet you guys when I get some people in the house. Oh my God, her nails are fucked. I, just, I don't think I checked her nails last time. But do you think my fingernails fit the sign of a visitor? Got it. I think she was a visitor last time, wasn't she? But it didn't look like dirt. It looked like they were just messed up. So I don't know if we should kill her yet. I'm going to hear her out for now. What? I clicked. I clicked. What? Wait, why is it like that? Ever wonder? Wait, I didn't kill her. What? I clicked here out. That I don't think I clicked the wrong thing. 
Well, let's check this guy's hands again. I think it's the same exact, like, thing. Yeah, he's fine. This guy, I don't think that guy's a visitor whatsoever. But I clicked here out and she still died. Okay, I don't know if I did that wrong or what, but, uh, you know... I also let in that big guy. Where is he at? Uh, he's probably in the pantry, isn't he? No? No, he was here. We didn't get to talk to him last time. So, yeah, let's talk Let's talk to him. I listen to your words, human. Speak. Uh, I need to check on you. What do you want to check? Let's check your teeth. Show you my teeth. And I've stood up for my truth with them. I've defended all my truths. See for yourself what I'm really doing here. Ooh, that's perfectly white. That's perfectly white. I save my teeth with beer. It's good for calcium. Without it, you've lost your teeth long ago. I don't- is- is that true? See, I've already killed that girl, now I'm scared to kill too many again, so I'm just gonna hear you out. Understandable, of course. There's so much going on right now, but we live on. We live on. Uh, I will check his, uh, hands, though. It's no taboo, my friend. Watch my nails as long as you like. I've trained myself to get useful sunlight with them. And open beer caps. See, his hands are good, we can't go based on teeth alone. Did you, uh, just want to check it out? I thought, uh, you're just an evil man. Well, I don't know, man. This is tough. This is actually harder than I thought it was going to be. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, who are the visitors? This is something humanity has never faced before. They just slap a label on something unknown and hate it. As if this was it never happened before. People are fundamentally flawed. What can you do? Nothing, I guess. I really... Really hope I'm not messing up already, but let's just uh, head to bed, see what happens. Oh, I checked the window. It says there's a group of armed soldiers outside the window. Apparently, there are small they are a small units sent here from the city to provide security for the EC. You can only hear bits and pieces of phrases about a pale man with a bare torso. Maybe they want to track down that creepy stranger. You feel relieved that there are people ready to deal with a dangerous guest on the streets. That was the guy who was holding the head, so it seems like they failed in that. I didn't realize also there's three windows that I should be checking. But it says there's a small group of FEMA staff standing outside a neighbor's house. I wonder what they are talking about. Maybe they're talking, taking soil samples. Or are they looking for a place to set up base? It makes you feel a little better to think that someone is trying to make sense of this nightmare. Hmm, interesting. Let's go ahead and check this old guy's... I don't think we checked his eyes last time, so let's do that. I'll show you my eyes. Not sure if you're noticed, but I have polychoria. That's what it means. Oh, wow. He's got two pupils. Wow. My vision is actually worse because of it. You'd think having two pupils in one eye would be handy. But alas, wow. He's got a crazy cool condition, actually. I feel like when it starts growling when you're next to a door, that means that the person in there is a visitor. See, I can't help but feel that way. So I feel like one of these people are, is a visitor. And I think it's this guy. Let's check his eyes. Did we check him yet? I don't remember. I don't think so. Look into my dark eyes. I absorb all the blessings of light with them, transforming energy from them. I get all my strength from my eyes. Holy shit, he does have weird eyes. Is that count as bloodshot though? Did you see the true power of the sun in my eyes? If not, you're just blind. Try looking at the sun for a longer time as I do. And see, he's looking right at the sun and shit. Like, what? I don't know about this person, though. Let's check their eyes, too. Redness in the eyes. Go ahead. See, he's red. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Can a person in this new world still cry? Apparently left. Let's hear out. I don't want to kill him. I don't want to kill him just yet. Can we be frank now? No, no joy allowed. No crying allowed. Sometimes speaking isn't allowed either. We can only sit and cover our faces with our hands. I'm gonna ask this guy, I guess. Uh, do we need to stick together? The flock must stick together. Otherwise, how will the righteous one instruct everyone on the right path? Okay, yeah, I don't understand what he's talking about. I guess we gotta wait till we unlock the photos. I haven't gotten there yet, but maybe I need to take a photo of him. But I, I trust this guy. I mean, I could check. No, we don't need to check his eyes. We already know they're like Gojo color. So let's just ask him what's causing the cataclysm. I don't even have an idea. Although, I think the sun's bursting has something to do with the visitors. It's no coincidence that they crawled out of the ground as soon as the cataclysm began. What if the guests want to take our place, replace us, and the burning sun is a way to get rid of us? But on the whole, it doesn't matter anymore. Okay, well, I feel like I might have should have killed someone tonight, but I guess we're gonna go to bed. I've also, on this run, I've been turning away some people. I turned down that first girl that showed up and someone else, but uh, here's the FEMA crew again. You came alone? 
No, of course not. Our crew is going door to door in the neighborhood. We're splitting up to get the job done faster. I won't be staying long. Uh, how will you help us? Yeah, yeah, we already know he's gonna take away that guy. I will take one man from you. Yeah, so he's gonna go. Either we will evacuate you from this dangerous area or we will bring the man back to you. We will issue instructions either way. Okay, so he's taking the man again for some reason. We have yet to figure out why. But see, let's see who's next. Uh, this guy again. I don't think- I'm gonna turn this guy away. I really don't trust him. Yep, turn him away. I don't trust him. He's gone. Here's this little girl again. Did something happen? Okay, so I'm gonna let her in this time and hopefully she doesn't die right away. Oh my god, the entire squad of soldiers who were here yesterday are dead. The bodies are strewn all over the street and one of the bodies is missing a head. That's what we saw earlier. That creepy stranger killed them all. You are horrified by this picture of carnage and you feel in danger. We're always in danger here, nothing new. A neighbor's house, which was recently painted white, burned to the ground and is now completely black. The fire seems to have died down recently. Did someone set it on fire on purpose? And what happened to the neighbor's family? Did anyone survive? Why did they burn the house down? Your head is filled with anxious thoughts and a feeling of incomprehension and helplessness. Well, they definitely aren't saving the visitors. They were just killing them all. We all know that. All right, I finally got to the point where we can take pictures of people. So I don't think we need to take a picture of this guy, but I guess I'll do it anyway, just to find out. So all of this somehow, it's so fucked up. Don't you get the feeling that we're headed towards some kind of terrifying hell? Everything allegedly is controlled, yet chaos is unfolding. Well, take a picture. Come on. You're taking a picture of the person. He's sitting quietly. He doesn't fit in the frame, but you don't see anything unusual. So this guy is completely good. So that's good. But yeah, I haven't gotten anyone killed yet. So I think I'm doing very good on this run. I let this lady in. Uh, let's take a picture of her first. And it says it's completely blurry. So we killed her last time. Let's kill her again. They'll smear you too. But I, okay, I don't know what that says at the end. But uh, she was definitely one of them. I could, I know that for a fact. And I don't quite trust this guy. So we're gonna take a picture of him as well. Take a picture. <laughs> Did someone tell you that I said hello to the solar leader himself? Yes, I taught him how to look at the sun. But I'll tell you that something that sometime later. Come on, take a picture of me. Okay. Wait, the picture just like in life in the picture, he is ungroomed and dirty. You don't notice the distortion. Okay, so he's fine. Okay, we still have a good amount of energy. Let's talk to the girl now. I uh, I want my mama. Okay. Uh I didn't check on you. Let's check your teeth first. Uh why? My teeth are still baby teeth, Daddy said. I won't cry anymore. Okay, your teeth look fine. This is what I have. What is this what does that mean? It's alright, isn't it? Okay. Uh let's take a picture, because that's a foolproof way photo i'm not really into photo photog photography will you show me a photo later okay a little blurry the girl ran up to you without waiting for the f end of the photo shoot hmm thank you i didn't like it don't ask me to take any more pictures okay she's fine but we got to check everything else hands and i know how to cut my own nails already and i'm very good at it i'm not very good at it yet i look wow she's fine okay I cut them myself. I did it. I did it. I'm going to sit alone. I mean, I guess we might as well check the last thing. Let's check your eyes. Can you look inside my eye? Will you see anything I'm thinking there? I'll be careful what I think then. Don't worry. Oh, wow. She's got nice green eyes. Okay. So she's completely fine. I want a drink. Okay. There's beer right there if you want it. And we killed that lady. I didn't see. It's kind of a good thing to not let, not let that many people in. I, see, I can manage them a lot easier. I know I might be missing out on some stuff, but, you know, I'm trying to get to the ending here. That's what I care about. Let's ask him, what do you think about FEMA? You mean the fuckers in yellow? They are inhuman beasts with no will of their own. They hide in yellow cocoons with masks and think they're in charge. They f take everyone who even slightly falls under the signs of a visitor. In short, I would not drink from the same cup of them. All right, then. Let's go ahead and hit the sack again. And this is, we should be caught up now. This should everything be new from this point. So let's see what new people we can invite in here. All right, hello, who's out there? Oh, it's the ha FEMA team again. We need to do a survey of your neighborhood. Uh, the man you took isn't enough? Last one? Oh, that. The examination procedure is quite exhausting. Right now, your man is in rehabilitation. After he rests, we'll bring him back right away. Uh, do you want to take someone else? Yes, I'm afraid one person was not enough to understand the situation. We'll need one more person from your house. Anyone will do. Thank you for your cooperation. 
Oh, God. All right, if there's no other way. Yeah, there's no other way. Oh, no, he took him. He's the coolest one. All right, it's all up for your own safety. Well, I guess I do need to invite people in for them to take, I guess. Who's next? Oh, it's him again. Oh, wait, I, I still have someone in here, so I can't... I think we're good against him, but he says, What do you think of that one in the suit? Uh, he's doing his job. All right. These are the times, aren't they? You've got to be careful. Is that okay? I'm kind of busy. Can you come back later? I understand, of course. I'll come back later. Just say, are you alone in the house? I have other people taking shelter here. Getting ready? Do you know what you're getting ready for? It's the last days, didn't they tell you? Dogs rule the world, and only dogs will be here. Have a good stay. Wow, I hate that guy. <laughs> I really hate that guy. We need to invite some people, more people in, though. Oh, wow, he's, he's back. It's the fortune guy. But what comes next is a terrible secret. Uh, how have you survived all this time? That's not the problem you should be worrying about, but thanks. And I don't yet feel that the glaciers are going to melt anytime soon. Looks like we're in for birds raining from the sky. What does that mean? You tell me. Is this supposed to be the end? Or are we yet to smell more gunpowder? I can't see beyond my own nose anymore. Probably nothing to wait for. What should we do? I don't know. I'll just keep watching. That's all I can do. What will you do? Uh, I guess... Survive? I mean, what else? Can we get some more people, though? There's nobody at the door. It seems no one else will come tonight. Wow, I didn't get to invite anybody in tonight. That's kind of upsetting. Let's head to bed, then. Hope I don't- hope someone doesn't get killed tomorrow. All I have is the little girl and the two people in the bathroom. It is no longer safe to live on the surface of the earth. You board up all the windows and barricade the doors. After conf conferring with your tenants, you decide not to go out into the outside world anymore. You pray helplessly that someday this will all be over, if this nightmare ever ends. At the very least, you have peace of mind knowing that there are only humans under your roof. We did it! That's it! I don't know. I, I don't know if there's supposed to be music. I might add some. But that seems to be the end of the game, guys. Uh, that's definitely some credits. This was uh, No, I'm Not Human. I very much enjoyed it. The, the graphics were very, very nice. It looks like a very retro type, but it's very creepy. And uh, it was great. I'm going to go to the menu. So there's some music here. There we go. So yeah, guys, that was No, I'm Not a Human. I'm a blank. I really, very, very much enjoyed it. And uh, if you guys have any other horror games you want me to play, leave them down below. And if you guys enjoyed as much as I did recording, let me know down below as well with a like, comment, and subscription. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.